I'm a teacher, a speaker, and a proud tech geek. And I love to make people's lives easier. That's why I've started shouting from the rooftops about Canva, an amazing, powerful design tool made for non-designers. To date, over 6.7 million people are using Canva to create stunning graphics for social media and for print without having to learn a complicated suite of software to do it. Oh, and did I mention that it's free? So why are so many people using it and what can it do for you? Let me show you around in this short video so you can see for yourself. The first question, do you ever need to create graphics for social media or for print? If you don't, you may want to consider it. Did you know that adding an image to your Twitter post can boost the heck out of your engagement? That means tons more clicks, favorites, or hearts, and over 150% more retweets than boring old text-only tweets. And are you tired of having to search for the sizes of social media graphics every time you want to create one? Or just tired of having your images cropped strangely when you post them to Twitter? Canva makes creating graphics and documents in dozens of standard sizes a breeze. No more opening a pro tool like Photoshop just to add a watermark to an image or to create a simple quote graphic. So here are the vitals about Canva. It is free to use. It's cloud-based, so you don't need to download any software. Or if you'd rather design on the go, there is an iPad app available. And if you have both, your designs will be synced between the two in your account. So it's really this easy to get started. The first thing you need to do is go to canva.com and you can create a free account using your email address or using your Facebook or Google account. So I'll go ahead and log in since I already have an account set up. And here you're taken to the Your Designs tab. You can create a new design from here or edit one of your saved designs that are listed down here. So I'm going to go ahead and just create a social media post. Now Canva's drag and drop interface and professional layouts and pre-designed templates, as you see over here, allow anyone to design consistently stunning graphics. So as you can see, they've got some timely seasoned ones here. It's holiday season right now, so they've got a lot of those to choose from. Or you can scroll down to, um, to choose one of the more generic layouts that you might like. So I'll just pick one here. And it also has a full set of features to help you along with free icons and shapes that you can drag into your designs. So I'm just going to grab a square here, pop it on over, say I want something like that. And everything is layered here, so I'm just going to go ahead and put it to the back. And it's going to keep clicking back until it's behind all of my text. Now say that I want to actually see some of that image behind, it's really easy to just play with the transparency a little bit. And there are also hundreds of fonts to choose from here. I could click on one of these, select the text, and you can see there's a big variety of fonts that you can choose. But I like the one they chose for me, so I'm gonna leave it just like that. There are also millions of professional quality photos and illustrations that you can just drag into your layouts. So here you can see tons of photos that are free. And the ones that aren't free are only a dollar to use. So I'm just gonna search for something here. You can put in any keyword and it's gonna pull up images that are available for you to just drag and drop right there. Now this particular image is one dollar to use. So when I go to export this image um, to use it on the web, it's going to ask me for my credit card and will bill me a dollar for that each time. Now I can place this image on top or if I wanted to replace the image in the background, I could do that. You can see it, um, it toggles and fills up that space automatically. I could set it up to do that, but I like the picture that's back there now. And let's just say I wanna Add it here, nudge it down into place. Now a dollar really isn't that much for some of these really nice photos. I mean, it's really a fraction of what you might pay if you're buying a stock photo or illustration elsewhere on the web. And you can really have fun with your photos. 
They can give you, they give you um, borders and layouts for making photo collages, and they call those grids. So I could drop a new grid on here and then pop new photos into each of those, and it's going to fill that space. And they even have photo filters that you can use as is or customize. You know, think um, you know, Instagram, sort of on steroids. You can apply them consistently to multiple images if you, design, if you find one that you really like. So for example, I've got this photo here, that blue, it really pops, but it doesn't really go very well with the rest of my design. So I can click on it and choose filter. And then I get this um, nice window that pops up here, a little interface where I can adjust the brightness. I could pick one of these pre-built ones. You can see it gives me that preview. I like that one. Now if I wanted to tweak this even more, I can click on advanced options and you can see there's a lot to choose from here. Now you can even upload your own vector art and photos and reuse them across multiple documents. And you can do that here in the uploads tab. You can upload from your hard drive or for even from Facebook if you connect those accounts. And then when you're ready to share your designs, you can export as a JPEG or a PNG for the web or even a PDF for sharing, or a high definition one to send to your printer. And once you get used to the interface and start playing around in here, even if you don't know a thing about graphic design, I can bet that you'll actually start having fun creating graphics, maybe for the first time. And I'm not forgetting about you pro designers, Canva has a place in your arsenal too. For example, you can create designs for your clients in Canva and then allow them to go in and make text edits or swap in photos, leaving you to do what you do best, the higher end design work. Now, this can be especially powerful with Canva's pro product, Canva for Work, but we'll save that for another video. Believe it or not, this is really all that you need to know to get started with Canva and put it to work for you. Let it be a secret weapon like it is for me for creating beautiful graphics to share quickly and easily. Thanks for watching. I hope you join me for upcoming videos where I dive deeper into some of the specific Canva features with some pro tips that will help you look even more awesome on the web. Bye for now.